Hey guys, welcome back to another Joe and Julie fast food review. Today, Burger King, tacos, Mexicano. We got them guys, a dollar each. And we got a couple to try for you today. And one for you. And one for me, guys. And check it out. You know what? Let me take one apart and give these guys a close-up. What do you think? All right, guys. I'm going to take one apart. We're going to sacrifice it for your benefit. <laughs> and I am going to show you exactly... You want to take it out? Mm -hmm. What you get inside. And as you can see, we're outside in the outdoor studio today. What are you laughing about? <laughs> that is true. And we all are. of the jet air traffic that's flying in over Long Island to JFK and LaGuardia. Yeah, we are like in a major airplane landing route here. It's um, constant. There are planes flying over, I would say. Yeah, definitely yeah. all the time. All the time. Yeah. Okay, guys. Seriously. Which one do we, would you want to take apart? The one that uh, we had a little mishap with? There we go. All right, guys, so we were in the car and we got the tacos and I am basically driving a Mustang convertible stick shift and wanted to see what the tacos looked like. So I grabbed the bag, I'm looking at them and I gave the bag kind of quickly back to Julie and guess what? One fell out. We had a little bit of a decoration <laughs> on the floor, guys. One fell out. So what we are going to sacrifice that one because it's not exactly perfect just to show you. All right. Okay, guys, and here it is in all of its fine glory. The taco from Burger King, a dollar even. And Julie's going to open it up, and we're going to look at the innards here, guys, and what do we see? We see, does that look like chicken? What is that? Uh, no, it's hamburger. That is hamburger? Yep. What's this stringy? Is that stringy stuff? That's cheese. Okay, we got lettuce, we got cheese, we got some sauce going on, and we got hamburger. Yep. All right, mm -hmm. we're going to give them a shot, and we're going to tell you exactly what we think. Okay, guys, so it comes with this stuff here. It's, uh, how do you pronounce this? Pronounce well, it says sauce of the soul, but it's what? Is this mine? That's yours. Wow. You could see that these things are like compressed and they are fried. And they call them crunchy tacos because they are crunchy. All right. Are you ready for the first bite? Let's go. You're ready? Mm -hmm. You don't want any. I'm going to take a bite first without. No. Okay. <laughs> Salute. Salute. Mm. They are crunchy. Spicy. Crunchy, spicy, sweet. Mm -hmm. I like that sauce. There's no tomato in it. No sour Only cream. Only in the sauce, yeah. It's like a tomato-based sauce. Mm. Yeah, it's basically just the sauce with the meat, cheese, and lettuce. That's it. Mm -hmm. So what do you think, honey? Mm. Oh. I got another bite of um, more of the meat. It almost has a um, taste to it like a um, enchilada type of a flavoring. Yeah, it's like a enchilada sauce. Mm -hmm. You do get the the back yeah. of the mouth uh, the warm. Have a, that's well, not so much. The, yeah, the heat. Yeah, but I'm just saying the flavor doesn't remind me of a taco. It reminds me more of like a filling you bite when you bite into an enchilada. Yep, I agree with that, hundred percent. Yeah. So what do you think? Um. 
I like them. They're a dollar. Pretty good. I uh, definitely think I could use more meat, more cheese. You know, but I understand that's probably why they did it because it's fried, so it's a little compressed, so you, don't, you can't really put too much in it. But, uh, <laughs> I like them. I like the flavoring in them. I like how they crunch. I don't know, guys. It's, um, it is what it is. There's really nothing special. All of these flavors you have definitely tasted before mm -hmm. in some other venue. Um, I am really not that impressed. In terms of the taco itself, I'm going to give it on a scale of 1 to 10. With 10 being the very best, I'm giving it a, I don't know, a 6.5. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty much what I'm thinking too. About six. a 6. Because... A 6. Uh, the flavoring is really good. Um, they pull it off good. They pull off the crunch good, but it's, I don't know. It's the one thing that not I don't wowed by it, I guess, is what I'm trying to um, convey. It's not bad. It's good. It's it's okay. Not wow. Not on the wow level. Like right here, guys. It gets like very chewy, and it's really not crunchy. It's more of a chewy grease consistency. The sauce is very very rich and it does taste like you know enchilada sauce like mm -hmm. julia said there's really not much in terms of lettuce tomato or sour cream or pico de gallo or anything that's mm -hmm. going to separate this from anything else and quite frankly you're better off than ordering from the dollar menu at the um, taco bell taco bell um kicks butt this Burger yeah. King needs to basically stick with what they do best, and that is burgers. Yeah. You know, I'm not really impressed with this, guys. Six, six point five. Julie's giving it a six. Combined score. You guys got the yellow light. I really can't recommend this. If you want to go out and try it, absolutely do it. But um, this is probably the last time I'm going to eat this. Yeah. Yeah. No way. Yeah. No way. Taco Bell is uh, hands down. A thousand That's percent be better. better. Yeah. And I don't even know if they're I don't even know what kind of meat this is. It doesn't taste like I think what would separate and I'm really getting you're trying to give some Burger King some recommendations here. If they really wanted to make a taco, they need to separate the taco from everybody else's. And what they could have done was to use some of their flame broiled meat, mince that up and then use that as the basis to get that flame grilled taste into the taco, which is very, very unique and special to Burger King. Mm -hmm. This is nothing special. It really reminds me of the year, years ago in Plainview, we used to have a Jack in the Box and Jack in the Box used to sit right next to where we got these today, Burger King. And when I was in college and high school, you know, late high school, college, we used to go to Jack in the Box. And what we would do is we would go in there at like one o'clock in the morning and wait to see the cockroaches <laughs> climbing on the walls in Jack in the Box. It was an absolute disaster, but the way these are made, it's identical to what we used to get at Jack in the Box. <laughs> do you want the other one, sweetie? I'm not even gonna need it. Do you think Whisk would like this? No, I don't even think that. Like spicy one. Whiskey's our dog. <laughs> and basically... To him. <laughs> and basically what happens is... Julie and I like to make a lot of good food. We like to cook. And we cook good stuff. And anything that's like leftover, he gets it. Mm -hmm. And... Yeah, the meat part of it, yeah. Oh, that's what I'm referring to. Yeah, of course. You can definitely clarify. Mm -hmm. So, whiskey is a West Island Irish terrier. Mm -hmm. And he was born in 2003. And he is 16 years old going on 17. And I really think that the reason why he's been around so long is because of the love and the care that we give this dog and he eats he eats better than some senior citizens I would guarantee 
eats pretty well, that's for sure. Basically, it's a nice day in New York. Kind of cool. Anyway, that was our review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If this is your first time here, welcome. Hit that subscribe button and that notification bell, and I promise you, you will never miss a thing. Take care, guys. So long.